My name is John Rowan, and I'm running as a Democratic candidate for the position of Sheriff of Maricopa County. I, I look around and see a lot of friendly faces and a lot of people holding talk to us, so I know this way. I have 30 years of law enforcement, 20 of which I did back east in the NYPD. In 1994, I was chosen to reform that police department and turn it into a much more effective police department. In 2001, I was put in charge of special projects for Ground Zero, and I can think of no greater challenge for leadership than having to do that. I then retired, I was the Deputy Chief of Investigations. We're not familiar, I came out to Maricopa <coughs> County a little over the last six years, and I made it my home. I have gone on record by calling Joe Arpaio a dictator and a tyrant. I am the only Democrat. Democrat running for the office who has actually stated his opinion about SB 1070 publicly. I find it illegal and immoral. And if you want to question that, to think about what would happen if the sheriff decided he's going to pull over white people with blue eyes looking for Canadians <laughs> who have stayed past their visa. I think that policy would last about three hours to maybe one day. So it is illegal and it is immoral. I am the only candidate running for sheriff that publicly supported President Obama's <coughs> change of policy, which is very similar to the DREAM Act. And once again, I just want to show this picture. I don't want to show it to the camera. This is an 18-year-old boy named Carlton. He spent three days in jail. He was 18, drinking beer, which is underage. He got into a bit of a wrestling match with someone else, public disorder. He got maced at the scene. And then when he went to MCSO, he was put in a cell. And because he complained, he needed medical attention. According to him, they opened up his cell door and they tased him three times. They beat him. He has bruises from his waist all up his back, down his front. He had to be taken to the emergency room. And I spent all night trying to get him out of jail. And finally, at just about 3 in the morning, he was released. That's what we're fighting here when I say he's a dictator and a tyrant. We, we, we need to remove him. We need to bring the rule of law back. And I truly believe, not only do I want to be sheriff of Maricopa County, but I think you need me to be sheriff of Maricopa County. Because I'm going to clean house, reform that entire organization, and I'm taking every brick out of the Fort Street Jail until I find the criminals that are in uniform that did this, and I'm going to put them on the other side of the bars. Oh,